Hey there, ready for a trip down memory lane with a classic film. Picture this a movie from 1979 that's full of laughter, surprises, and heartfelt moments that'll keep you hooked from start to finish. In this gem, you'll find a standout performance by John Friedrich, a beloved actor of many. But hey, who's your personal favorite? Now, let me share something close to my heart. This film isn't just entertainment to me, it's been a source of inspiration. It taught me about the bonds of friendship, staying true, and the challenges of growing up. It's amazing how a movie can leave a lasting impression, right? But let's switch gears. What's your fondest memory or special experience tied to this cinematic journey? Share your stories and reflections below. So, grab some snacks and get comfy because there's plenty more to explore about this memorable film. Stay tuned for intriguing trivia and behind-the-scenes tidbits. In 1979, a movie hit the screens, leaving an impression that rippled through popular culture. It caught the attention of its time and continues to influence today. This movie, a portrayal of youth and friendship, resonated deeply with audiences then and now. Following its release, it inspired various adaptations and spin-offs from novels to stage plays. Fans could bring the essence of the story into their homes through merchandise like posters and soundtracks. The themes that delved into friendship, loyalty, and the challenges of growing up struck a chord with viewers, making it a cultural touchstone. Its portrayal of teenage life remained relevant, leaving its mark on subsequent films and television shows exploring similar themes. Decades later, the movie's influence persists. Its depiction of youth culture and social dynamics continues to engage audiences, ensuring its place in cinematic history. In the world of movies, there's a special gem called The Wanderers. It's notable because it introduced two actors, Jim Youngs and Ken Wall, who later became quite popular. Their acting brought real depth to the characters, making the film stand out. What's interesting is that they got some help from a well-known comic book artist named Neil Adams. Adams added a cool visual style to the movie, especially with Joey's artwork. This collaboration between actors and an artist made The Wanderers a memorable film that shows how amazing things can happen when creative people work together. In The Wanderers, the Marine recruiting station was built next to an existing pizza parlor in the Bronx. Surprisingly, there were already recruiting stations for all armed service branches just a block away. One recruiting station still stands at that location for all the armed services. Perry is portrayed as the oldest member of the group, but in reality, Tony Ganyos is younger than Ken Wall, John Friedrich, Jim Youngs, and Alan Rosenberg. The Wanderers is one of several gang movies released in 1979, along with Walk Proud, The Warriors, Boulevard Nights, and others. Alan Rosenberg showcased his range by portraying both sinners and saints throughout his career. From his portrayal of gangster Frank Nitti in the TV biopic Capone behind bars to his role as the Apostle Thomas in the controversial film, The Last Temptation of Christ, Rosenberg displayed his versatility as an actor. Richard Price underwent a physical transformation for his role as one of the bowling bank rollers in the movie. He grew a mustache and cut his hair to better fit the character he portrayed. Erlen Van Lith made his film debut in The Wanderers, marking the beginning of his acting career. In the 1979 movie The Wanderers, Jim Youngs, who plays Buddy, Penn Stranger Girl, the song sung by the characters in a memorable car ride scene. Tony Ganios made his film debut in this movie. The football game sequence, a pivotal moment, was shot over three days, capturing the intensity of the game. These aspects contribute to the richness of the film's narrative and character development, providing viewers with a deeper understanding of the story's dynamics and themes. Richard Price, the author of the novel serving as the basis for the movie, took charge of curating the soundtrack, personally selecting each song. This hands-on involvement adds a layer of authenticity to the film's musical backdrop. One intriguing real-life connection to the movie involves Ace Frehley, the guitarist of the rock band Kiss. In his autobiography titled No Regrets, Fraley recounts his youth, revealing that he was a genuine member of the Ducky Boys gang. His initiation and active participation in the gang lend a unique authenticity to the portrayal of the gang dynamics in The Wanderers. Val Avery, a key figure in the movie, had an interesting background. The son of M. Jurdic Der Abrahamian, a revolutionary Armenian, and one of the founders of the Republic of Armenia, and Arousiak Abrahamian, an Armenian actress Avery's heritage adds a historical and cultural dimension to his portrayal in the film. These behind-the-scenes details and personal connections enhance the depth and realism of The Wanderers, shedding light on the meticulous choices made by those involved in its creation. 
and a series of films directed by John Cassavetes, Val Avery made notable appearances. Among these films were Two Late Blues, Faces, Minnie and Moskowitz, The Killing of a Chinese Bookie, and Gloria. The elbow tit scene, featuring Ken Wall and Karen Allen, was filmed on Lydig Avenue. This spot was just outside the Wanderer's territory, spanning from Allerton to Burke Avenues. Avery portrayed a bartender in various movies, including The Night of the Meek, The Hallelujah Trail, No Way to Treat a Lady, Identity Crisis, and Easy Money. The story of the Wanderers is deeply rooted in the Bronx's Parkside housing project, where author Richard Price grew up. Many characters, both from the Wanderers and neighborhood adults, are based on real individuals from that community. Olympia Dukakis earned a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame for live theater in 2013. She also became the 95th actress to win an Academy Award, receiving Best Supporting Actress for Moonstruck at the 60th Annual Academy Awards in 1988. These elements add layers of authenticity and recognition to the film's narrative, highlighting its connection to real-life experiences and achievements within the entertainment industry. In 1989, Olympia Dukakis had a break-in at her home, and her Oscar trophy was stolen from her kitchen. But she didn't let that stop her. Just six months after having a baby, she was back on stage, showing how dedicated she was to acting. You might know her best for her role in the movie Moonstruck, where she won an Academy Award for her funny performance. Other actresses who've won Oscars for their comedy include Claudette Colbert, Audrey Hepburn, Diane Keaton, and Jessica Lynch. Olympia Dukakis made a big mark in movies and theater, and people still love and remember her work. Karen Allen Despite facing temporary blindness due to keratotic conjunctivitis in 1978, later garnered acclaim for her portrayal of a blind woman in theater productions such as Monday Before the Miracle and The Miracle Worker. Alan Rosenberg, initially married to actress Robin Bartlett, encountered his future wife Mark Helgenberger while working on the soap opera Ryan's Hope in 1984. Despite their initial encounter, they later reconnected by chance at a Los Angeles bank and married in 1989. Val Avery, who participated in productions at the Armenian Youth Theater in Philadelphia during his youth, pursued acting after the war, starring in various television dramas and crime movies. He transitioned from live television productions to roles in westerns and crime dramas on both the small and big screens. Karen Allen, Alan Rosenberg, and Val Avery each made significant contributions to the entertainment industry, showcasing their talent across different mediums and genres. In the world of entertainment, there are actors who leave a lasting impression with their performances. Take, for example, one actor known for his memorable roles in various films. Be seen cruising through the streets in a classic car, reminding viewers of another famous movie. His acting skills are widely recognized as he brings authenticity and depth to every character he plays. Similarly, there's another actress who has honed her craft through rigorous training at prestigious institutes. Her dedication to her work shines through in every role she takes on, captivating audiences with her nuanced performances. Both these actors exemplify true craftsmanship in their roles, adding layers of complexity and emotion. Their work leaves a lasting impact on viewers, staying with them even after the movie ends. Jim Young, brother to the renowned actor John Savage, played a role in the 1979 movie. The gangs featured in the film, including the Wanderers, drew inspiration from actual New York City street gangs. Notably, these gangs did not coexist simultaneously. The Wanderers, for instance, included members from a local football team called the Stingers. One of the portrayed gangs, the Ducky Boys from the Bronx, existed into the 1970s. Despite being depicted as killers in the movie and Richard Price's novel, local residents remember them more as a nuisance than a criminal threat. In summary, Jim Young, brother to John Savage, had a role in a film that depicted New York City street gangs, drawing inspiration from real-life gangs, albeit not concurrently. The Ducky Boys, a Bronx gang featured in the movie, persisted into the 1970s with a reputation more of annoyance than criminality. In a poignant scene, a character meets a tragic end in a horrifying accident involving a railroad track. This moment serves as a stark reminder of the dangers in the world portrayed in the film, 
leaving a lasting impression on both the characters and the audience. Set in the Bronx during the 1960s, the story follows a group of teenagers navigating the challenges of adolescence and gang culture. Directed by Philip Kaufman, the movie captures the gritty realities of urban life, touching upon themes of friendship, loyalty, and the struggle for identity. The untimely death of the character serves as a reminder of life's fragility, highlighting the harsh consequences of violence and recklessness. His loss deeply affects his friends and fellow gang members, forcing them to confront their own mortality and the outcomes of their actions. Throughout the narrative, the characters grapple with the pressures of growing up in a tough and unforgiving environment. As they navigate adolescence, they are confronted with difficult choices that will shape their futures. Despite its tragic moments, the movie also offers glimpses of hope and resilience as the characters strive to overcome adversity and find their place in the world. It is a powerful reminder of the importance of friendship and staying true to oneself even when faced with challenges. In conclusion, the film is a thought-provoking exploration of adolescence, offering a glimpse into the harsh realities of urban life while celebrating the strength and resilience of the human spirit. Did you know that during the filming of a certain movie set in the Bronx during the 1960s, an actor experienced a serious injury? While shooting a scene, his hand was accidentally run over by a car, causing him significant pain and leading to a temporary halt in production. The movie delves into the lives of a group of teenagers, offering a gritty portrayal of their challenges and triumphs. Directed by Philip Kaufman, it explores themes of friendship, loyalty, and the difficulties of growing up. Featuring a diverse cast, including well-known actors like Ken Wall, Karen Allen, and Tony Ganios, each delivered powerful performances that brought depth to their characters' struggles. Set against the backdrop of a turbulent time in American history, the movie captures the essence of youth culture in the 1960s, immersing viewers in a world filled with street gangs, rock and roll, and social upheaval. Despite its initial lukewarm reception, it has since gained a cult following and is regarded as a classic coming-of-age film, resonating with audiences for its authentic portrayal of teenage life in urban America. The movie remains a poignant reminder of the challenges and joys of youth, serving as a timeless exploration of friendship, identity, and the pursuit of belonging. In one scene of the movie, tragedy strikes when Richie, a member of the gang, dies during a fight. This event leaves a lasting impact on the characters, showcasing the harsh realities they face in their lives. The Wanderers is a film that delves deep into the lives of a group of teenagers in the Bronx. Set against the backdrop of the 1960s, it follows the gang as they navigate through the challenges of adolescence, including love, loyalty, and violence. Richie's death serves as a shocking reminder of the dangers that surround them, highlighting the fragile nature of life in their neighborhood. It brings a somber tone to the film, underscoring the harsh realities these young men face on a daily basis. As the gang mourns the loss of their friend, they are forced to confront their own mortality, realizing that their actions can have serious consequences. It serves as a poignant moment in the film, prompting the characters to reflect on their choices and the path they are on. Despite the tragedy, The Wanderers also offers moments of levity and camaraderie, showcasing the bonds that hold the gang together. Through it all, the characters navigate the ups and downs of adolescence, grappling with the complexities of growing up in a tough neighborhood. The film ultimately leaves a lasting impression on viewers, offering a raw and unfiltered look at the lives of these teenagers. It serves as a reminder of the resilience of the human spirit, even in the face of adversity. Did you know that during the filming of a movie set in the Bronx during the 1960s, tragedy struck when an actor suffered severe burns during a stunt gone wrong? This shocking incident left a lasting impression on those involved in the production. Directed by Philip Kaufman, the gritty depiction of teenage life in the Bronx follows a group of friends as they face various challenges and conflicts in their neighborhood. Despite its lukewarm reception at the box office initially, the movie gained a dedicated fan base over the years for its authentic portrayal of youth culture and memorable characters. With its raw energy and realistic depiction of teenage struggles, the film continues to connect with audiences, showcasing timeless themes of friendship, loyalty, and coming of age. During the making of a film set in 1960s New York City, a tragic accident occurred on set involving a stuntman and a car leading to severe injuries. Despite precautions, the incident highlights the dangers inherent in filmmaking. The cast and crew united in the face of adversity to continue production. 
Directed by Philip Kaufman, the movie explores the lives of teenagers in the Bronx during the 1960s, focusing on themes like friendship and the search for identity against the backdrop of a changing urban landscape. Kaufman's direction brings authenticity to the characters' experiences, capturing the essence of the era with gritty realism. One standout performance comes from Ken Wall, who plays Richie, a charismatic gang leader. Wall's portrayal captures Richie's complexities as he navigates loyalty to his friends and aspirations beyond his neighborhood. The film's soundtrack, featuring hits from the era, adds to the atmosphere, transporting viewers back in time and immersing them in the world of the story. Despite initial reception, the film has gained a devoted following for its portrayal of teenage life in the 1960s. It continues to engage audiences, offering insight into a past era while exploring timeless themes. In conclusion, the movie is a poignant exploration of adolescence and friendships set in 1960s New York City. Despite challenges during production, it endures as a reminder of resilience, leaving a lasting impression on viewers worldwide.